so now we have kafka setup ready uh, locally it is running so now it's time that interact with kafka cluster so kafka cli we are going to use that with the with the help of that cli we are going to create the topic produce the message and consume the message so let's get started so we'll go to the ide so we'll use the same bat files that we used to start the jukeeper and kafka so here you can see the different bat files are there so for this one we have this kafka topics dot bat okay so navigate there uh, kafka topics bat is there so i have to create a topic what is the topic name my first topic i have to mention the kafka setup cluster address to so the property for that is bootstrap address actually bootstrap server and that address is that locally it is running on port 9092 so if we hit enter it should create the topic for us if there is any error it will give us the error otherwise yeah created topic my first topic the server log file uh, you can see it changed it created something from there but one important log file i wanted to show you if you come here on the data side kafka logs you see the my first topic and uh, with zero uh, while uh, re, uh, studying about the topic uh, we uh, had, had that thing right that uh, partition and all that will be created, but I have not mentioned that partition and all that, right? But by default, what was the uh, number? What was the number of partitions? By default, uh, there is like a uh, one partition. It is going to create that uh, number of partition. First one part with. So my first topic is created with one partition. So that I can give the configuration here, but we'll talk about uh, in a while. But here it is. Uh, let you see this one index log time index. Partition metadata and all that it has created. So, how Kafka is very fast that also depends on this one that how it is creating the data in your uh, uh, broker. Okay, so if you have to see how many topics that you have created, so there is a describe command. You just have to list. So before describing, I want to list that how many topics uh, that are there on my Bootstrap server, right? So just uh, topics dot bat list Bootstrap server mention it. It should give us the list. You see, uh, we can see the list of topics. My first topic. So let's go ahead and create one more topic. Uh, with some config, uh, more configuration. So my first topic, and then I want to mention partition. Partition. How many partition I need? Uh, let's say uh, I need uh, three partitions there. Okay. Uh, so just uh, uh, no. My first topic actually uh, there is a problem. Partition is not awesome because my first topic is already there, and I did some mistake in the command line itself. So I just change this one. Second topic and partition. So it's not partition actually; it is partitions. Uh, so now it should create a topic with three partitions. Created my second topic. So just list the topics. It should give us the two topics now. Okay. And uh, if I go here, my first topic, and in the my second topic, you see, for the first topic it has only one folder with hyphen zero. With the second topic, it has three folders: zero, one, two. Okay, so it is an index. Uh, my first topic zero, my first topic one, my first topic two. So it is kind of indexing that it is creating so that it can store the message properly when you are sending it, and it is going to work that way. Okay. So uh, the 
basic idea behind opening this in IDE that how the logs are being created uh, when we interact with the CLI. So now I want to see the configurations of the first topic and second topic, how we can see it. So there is a describe command for that. So instead of list, we have to put the describe here and then I have to give the topic name. So I want to describe my first topic that what configuration it has. So I just have to put it and it will give us that configuration, uh, that description. So my first topic, uh, topic name is my first topic, topic ID it has given us, partition count it has given us, replication factor is one important thing. So if you have more than uh, one broker, then you will have more than one value also because you want your data to be replicated on different brokers right other configs topic my first topic partition zero leader zero replica zero isr zero these are the other configuration that we will be talking talking about in further videos but for now these are the important one that uh, like uh, description it is giving us all the information that we need so let's describe our second topic It gave us topic, my second topic ID, partition count 3, replication factor 1, configs it has given, topic, my second topic, partition 0, partition 1, partition 2, leader 0, replica 0, ISR 0. So ISR is in sync replica, 0, 1, 2. A second topic has three partitions, right? So, and numbering starts with the 0 and 1, 2. And each partition, you different things we have learned about the topics, right? So ordering within the partition and all uh, message is going to be the in the partition uh, partition under that it is going to be the offset and all that so that is why uh, actual categorization is uh, the partition actually so that is why it has created any message i produce it first it will decide which partition to go it will go there and it will index log and all that it is uh, under log it is going to put that message here time index and index for the searching capabilities and all that internally it is going to create that. Coming back to the terminal again, uh, so we have, uh, now we have seen that list creating topic, listing topic and describing topic, right? Now it's time that we produce the message and consume the message. Let's open one more CLI here. Again, I have to go to the bin. So there is another bat file Kafka console producer.bat. So under that, so now we have this uh, utility in place. Now I have to produce the message. Where I have to put it? There is a bootstrap, uh, there is a Kafka setup and where I need to put it? There is a Kafka topic. So I have just to, I have just to mention the topic name where I want to produce it. So I want to produce it in my first topic this is there right and what is the bootstrap server localhost 9092 so this is the command line that i have to just hit enter and it will give you the console to produce the message into first topic okay so now you see this uh, this one here i hope you are able to see this one and uh, uh, if I uh, just uh, put the message here, it will send that message to the Kafka cluster. Hello buddy. It sent that message. It is it, the first message that I had sent. Hello buddy, how are you? Let's learn together and grow. So I can keep producing the message every time I hit enter there is a new message there. So let's check the uh, our logs entry there. So my first topic is there. So just refresh it and if I come here index uh, let's see if there is any change in here. A lot of things are there. So just see the logs file here. A lot of things are also there earlier it was empty right so now it has something that means whatever messages i have put it it has given so it is not in readable format it is a binary format actually that is fine 
but it has given some entry right so liberty box checkpoint and all that is there so uh, we are not supposed to like uh, it is not important that we read it from this file itself but it is important that we see there is changes happening the moment that we produce the message here right so now the next is we that's all uh, like uh, to produce the message we needed the topic and bootstrap server now we need to consume this message right so no, now we have to create the consumer console let's go ahead and do that Kafka console consumer is there and from where I need to consume I need to consume from my first topic right and what is the bootstrap server that is localhost 9092 so if i just enter it i'll be i should be able to see the messages that i had produced so there is some problem i think uh, let's me check the command again my for yeah i missed the double hyphens here okay i think uh, uh, it is uh, there is one more configuration that i'm missing just uh, it is giving us that processed a total of zero messages right so i just my first topic there is one more configuration that when a consumer is going to consume a particular topic it has to mention that whether it wants to read the messages from starting or it wants to read the messages the latest one right the moment i joined from now on whatever messages are produced i want to hear that not the earlier one by default the configuration is that uh, uh, the the latest messages that you produce after I join you only that I am going to listen that one so I, I'll just show you that one so if I hit it again this one and I go to my producer here and I produced messages new message you see it should be able to see here so new message I am able to see that right so let's see that all the messages from the starting so what is the configuration for that uh, my first topic so to listen the message from big uh, starting so there is a configuration that i have to give from beginning it should be able to give the messages the first message that was sent to that topic yeah you see hello buddy how are you let's learn together and grow together new message it, it uh it received all the messages from the starting that were there in that kafka topic on, on top of that if i send more messages here it should be able to see that as well it is able to see that one right okay it is able to do that this is awesome and all that it is going to do that so that was it the basics very basics of the kafka kafka cli we are able to create the topic with different configuration we are able to send the message there we are able to see the messages that where they are going in the kafka logs itself and uh, uh, in the consumer also uh, producer also we are able to do that one right and after creating the consumer uh, there is more logs created around that one right if you see consumer offset 0 1 2 3 4 13 30 and all that it is going to be creating uh, based on the con consumers that are there so you see a topic is same but there are more consumers uh, can join that one and it's consumers responsibility uh, to track uh, at which point they are there uh, so let's say I have one topic and there are two consumers so first consumer will create its own uh, entry in the Kafka cluster itself to make sure that at which point it is there so that's what you are seeing the different folders here and different index log and all that so that it, it is able to detect that at which point it is at a particular uh, moment okay so yeah i hope you get the idea around this one creating the topic uh, creating the producer creating the message so cli is for the experiment and uh, doing the here and there thing only real time we have to create the api we have to create the java projects and uh, interact there are more configuration a lot of configuration around the producer consumer and topic itself we will be talking about that in the project setup 
so the topic of the next video is a simple java project setup and what are the libraries that i have to put in place so that is going to be the straightforward no fancy projects just a main uh, just a java project where we are going to create uh, we are going to add the kafka libraries which can help us uh, to create the producer and to create the consumer so creating the topic itself uh, it is going to be the cli only because the creating the topic uh, is the one time activity so it is the admin job that uh, they create from the cli but producer and consumer is the ongoing process so there are apis there is application for that only so we'll create that project setup in the next video see you in the next one take care bye bye